one around me. I went nuts. It's the future! Alright. So, um... Yeah. Uh, Duke Nukem 24 here with seven days to die. Stuck on the roof of a hospital at the moment. Um... Yeah, I was looting this hospital when I first started, and I, I barely started. I have the starter gear and this gun that I found in a car some bullets that I found in the hospital, and then all this hospital stuff I found. Um, I found the iron pick, and I built the stone axe, but I would have rather have had a iron axe rather than the stone, but beggars can't be choosers, plus this upgrades items, so that's pretty helpful. These are all empty. Damn it. I thought it would have the loot would have respawned by now. Ooh, ooh the lag. So, you know, all right. I was it. Ooh, hello. How did you get up here? Ooh. Dude, die. Thank you. As I was trying to say, I was in here, and, um, I don't remember what happened, but something blew the fuck up. Oh, now I'm being hunted, okay. Um. Hopefully this, th this first episode of, uh, Seven Days to Die will be up. Uh, it should be up maybe by, hopefully today, which is Friday, and I think it's like 9 p.m. my time, but, um, hopefully it'll be up by today, or tonight, whatever, who knows, uh, screw the hospital, I'm done with the hospital, I've had enough of the hospital, 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 Jesus Christ, there's a lot, I just, I was like, I, I saved it in the morning, like in-game morning. If if I do upload it by today, then you guys will have seen Overwatch today and the Star Wars yesterday, I think. And I'm going to be changing things. Like, first off, the stupid thing I was doing was recording and then editing the video the second I record it which is stupid very stupid <laughs> it just wasted time so now I'm going to be playing like I'm going to be playing a whole bunch of games and recording it all in one bunch and then edit and upload it as the week goes on and here's here's my ideal schedule that I want to get on since it's Friday I can do it but, um, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, what I want to do is get in a 7 Days to Die and Fallout 4 video. That's my hopes and dreams right there is one Fallout 4 and one 7 Days to Die video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, leaving Tuesday and Thursday for, um, Random games like Overwatch, The Division, um, what else? I forgot what other games I've been playing. You know, just generic games that that aren't going to be in a playthrough, but I'll be playing Star Wars as well. Um, that's my dream schedule. And then over the weekend, I don't know what I'm going to do. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Oh, God. Giggity, look at all these guys. I want to get in there, though. Damn it. Damn it. 
Give me a second, I got this. I got this. I'm a pro. I'm still being hunted, but I'm a pro. Did, did I ask for that? No, I did not. Um, yeah. Well, so that's my dream schedule. I think over the weekend I might stream with the Retro VGN, who I haven't played with in a long time. And, um, I want to buy him Seven Days to Die so he can stream it with me. But it's 30 bucks, and I don't think it's really worth 30 bucks in all honesty. I mean, it's a great game. Like, I'd still pay for it if I, like, you know, I'd still pay for the game because it's really good. But, um, you guys decide for yourself if it's, like, worth it. But for me, it's, like, prime gameplay. And they're going to update it soon, I think. I could have sworn they were going to update it, fix all the stupid-ass bugs that they got going on. Ooh, hello. So, you know, you could look forward to the updates and all that. All that jazz. This is going to take a while. You know, I'll be right back. Well... My plan was to mine through the wall and safely head inside, but I don't think that's the case anymore. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, it's broken? Well, uh, well that ends my um, supermarket adventure. Without a gun, that's like literally impossible. I could sit there for a long ass time and hit him. Ooh, oh, thank god I didn't break my leg. What I could do is lead him away from the place. I think that might work. No, they're all inside and it would be really, really annoying. Um, I don't know where to go. I mean, I've played this map before, but I've been on the other side of the map. Like, I've never been to this end. If I'm not mistaken, there's a military base down the ways in that direction, like west of here. Because that was a city with a hospital. Oh, you should see the amount of map I covered. I spawned around there and mushed my way down to the hospital. There should be like an army base somewhere, I think. Hopefully. Ooh, I almost got attacked. Um. I might base in the hospital. It's a really good spot if you just fortify the second floor. But then going out the first floor would be a bitch. Maybe I'll fortify a store. That's what I should do. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I think I'll go with the store idea, but I need to find one that's less infected with crawlers and stuff, and the lot of them, because I hate those douches. Extreme douches. Just need to. Uh, do, 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 do. Might as well build a campfire. The bedroll I need. I need these dudes. Ex excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm playing this on PS4, so there's a lot of bugs and lag that they're going to need to fix in the next update, which they said they were going to fix. So hopefully the game will run a little smoother. I mean, frame-wise, it's okay. It just only fucks up when it gets into certain spots. Like, yeah when I step too far and it loads the next area. Bedroll. 
I can craft bandages. Guess I'll craft bandages for now. Everything else I can craft later, but for now I just need to get the basic stuff down, like campfire and bedroll. I think the first time I played this, I went on the roof of a store, put a bedroll down, and um, a campfire, and I kind of just camped out there for a long time, but once you get to the seventh day, which is when like a huge horde just charges in, then you that doesn't work. I've tried. Rooftops don't do shit. Can I collect this? Is this a thing I can collect? No. Damn. I wanted cobweb. Whoa. I thought that was a TV in the bathroom for a second. I was about to say, what the fuck? Oh, nose itch. Why? Ooh, campfire. There's none of these tools. If anyone's not played Seven Days to Die before, if you use a campfire and a crafting bench and stuff like that, you can't make any of this. Well, first of all, you need the ingredients, but you can't make it without having one of each of these tools, or at least one of them. Like the beakers to make water and other uh, beverages. I think this gradle in the middle is for meat. I think the pot's for like stews and stuff, or something like that. But without the proper like tool, you can't do anything with it, which is stupid in my eyes, but come on. Ooh. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? I think you guys know what that is without even playing the game. Airdrop. I think they happen like once every couple days or something but um if you see an airdrop like this march towards it no matter where it is just go for it there's a lot of health items in there and very rarely you'll find a gun um I think after a certain distance of dropping it disappears from your map or your HUD and I sometimes I think the screen but it's still there. You just need to get closer to it. This one looks pretty close by though. Hopefully it's not in the water because your oxygen underwater goes down so fast. And I don't know if there's a skill or a perk. But you drown so quickly. It's ridiculous. Damn it. I don't think this is deep though. Yeah, it's not that deep. But look, look, look in the bottom left, the little, um, I think it's a hexagon. Yeah, look how fast your oxygen depletes. That may not seem fast, but if you're searching through like a box like this one, Jesus Christ, dude, you'll drown. I personally think it's worth it. There's a deer. Swimming. A swimming deer. Which I guess isn't rare, but in this game, but you know, it's just weird to see. I have to be right on top of it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'll check what I got when I get up on the beach. I got med kits. Uh, nine med kits, some antibiotics, a spiked club schematic, AK-47 stock. I also have pistol receiver and a shotgun receiver. Broken glass. Ooh, beaker. It's for the campfire, so that's pretty good. A magnum cylinder, some glue. Don't know what the fuck I need glue for. Paper, crafts for shotgun ammo, so keep that. Painkillers. Those are pretty good. 
the um, what's it called the beakers are what I really needed because you can take murky water and you can cook it up into um, drinking water and holy crap there's blueberries oh my god give me blueberries you don't realize how rare food is like this especially these because I think these um what do these do again give you fullness and hydration maybe by one but it's still good and you can make them into pies and seeds I'm gonna take a lot of these so I can turn at least half of them into seeds I think the rest will bake into pie or something Uh, okay. Better hurry up. Yep, they're coming. See, when they bust things open like that, some of the, uh, like, roaming zombies would come by. You know, they were minding their own business a while ago. See, like, some of them... Where'd he go? Oh, I just leveled up. There he is. Some roamers, and sometimes when they break down doors. Let's see if I can go back in there and collect a lot, because there's a, a lot to be taken from here. See, now I'm hunted again. Where is he? Oh, there he is. I'm not going to bother with it right now, because I have 110. And in my eyes, that's a lot, so. Uh, let's just keep on trucking by. I don't need, I don't need to bother these guys. I need to find a place to set up a camp at, but these houses are not good since I put the zombie spawns really high up. So every now and then, there's going to be like a lot there spawned in the cities and towns. And that makes the day seven a lot harder to uh, survive. So I think what I'm going to do is build a base on the roof of the hospital. Um, put a ladder going down one end of it. And then block off the second floor. Like make it so they can't get past the second floor. And then everything above that I'll just have cleared out for um, any storage purposes. Because there's no point in going down there if I have a ladder on the side. And if the loot does respawn in there then I can always just come back uh, through the front door. And scavenge out, scavenge out the place. And um... For anyone who has played Seven Die, Seven Seven Dies Today, apparently, Seven Days to Die, they'll know about the mini bike, which I do want to build. But the only problem with the mini bike is it doesn't go over water, obviously, and it breaks when it hits the water. Like there's just no getting it back, and it's pointless in exploring if you don't have the whole whole map because you don't know where the roads are and there's places you need to get to and the fastest way to get it is over rivers so to be honest I'm not really focused on mini bike so much as I need guns I would love to have some guns and here's something that's not in rust and it's when you break down a rock it shatters into pieces around it and you can still mine the pieces well, in like rust, you would have the randomly disappearing, that was a cactus, the randomly disappearing rocks, and I hated that so much. And it's like 10.30 right now, I'm exhausted as all hell. But I have to record this, Overwatch, some Star Wars, I'll throw in a bit of everything, and record Fallout 4 tomorrow. And I think I'm going to do it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday will be the new Fallout 4, 7 Days to Die stuff. 
Tuesdays and Thursdays I'll throw in Overwatch, Star Wars, um, I just got a, what's, what's that game called, damn it, The Division, and I know it's old, and I know I'm behind the ages, and all the big YouTubers already played it, but I don't give a shit, I haven't played it, so I want to play it. And the division's pretty fun, but when I can tell that after a while it's gonna get so old and like overplayed. But for the time being, I'm enjoying it. Like the missions are pretty good. Whoa, the loot, the loot that you get from missions is pretty all right. But actually, it's weirdly unbalanced sometimes because so far I'm a level seven or level six. And I've been getting level 6 gear that's worse than my level 4 gear. And it's been really weirding me out. So, you know, I've just kind of been staying away from missions right now. I kind of stopped playing it. Plus, I keep disconnecting. And it gives me the whole division servers are not up at the moment or whatever. So, you know, it is what it is. Still a fun game. I mean, the one game I do want to play game just crashed anywho before the game crashed the um, Rainbow Six Siege is the game I want to play because it's really fun there's a youtuber that I watch his name is Cartoons and I, I watched him play it a lot and I think it's really a really fun looking game no the person I really want to see play it, and he's not much of a shooter game person. He's played horror games on his channel. He's played um, horror games, fun games, you know, just random bullshit games. And I haven't seen him play a shooter in a while, besides Overwatch, maybe. But you can't really count it as, like, an FPS. And I want to see uh, my buddy Mark play... Uh, play either no not the division rainbow six siege would be funny to watch him play because he would he would not know the controls he would be so confused <laughs> i don't know if anyone heard my phone vibrating it's because my brother texts me because he's playing he's playing right now um, seven days to die and he came over looking for the coordinates to the hospital and he just texted me that he forgot the coordinates and he needs me to send him to it or send them to him asshole I'm bleeding now so I gotta send that to him in a second just let me get away from this zombie Holy shit, now I'm overheating? Dude, overheating in this game is so freaking stupid. It is just downright the dumbest system I've ever seen in a video game. Because when you overheat, you need to take off all your like gear and stuff. Because then it makes you really hot. You know, the insulation, like these pants give you plus five. Thankfully, the cigar that I found reduces it. But... It defeats the purpose of wearing armor or clothing because you can do it with the overheating because you'll start to die and you'll have heat stroke which makes your stamina go down. The only place I ever want to base at is the snowy biomes because you can't overheat. Otherwise you're just doomed for heat stroke. That's really bullshit. I should probably get off of the med pack before I accidentally use it. You know, for a PS4 game, or, you know, how they put it on PS4, the controls are really smooth. Like, I have no complaints over the controls except for... I have no complaints over the controls, but stuff in the game, I have lots to complain about. For instance, the guns, the durability goes down so fast, it's ridiculous. 
guns break in a matter of seconds. There's my buddies. <laughs> Look at these guys right here. Just a big horde. Alright, so it's going to be night soon, so I'm going to head back to the hospital, head to the rooftop, and set up my camp. The fuck? Thank God I wasn't on that. Why the hell did that collapse? Okay, that really scared me. I'm going to set up my camp on the roof for now because um, I have a longer day cycle, I think. But uh, the night starts at 22. And the zombies get so aggressive. I think the, the night starts at 22 and then the day begins at 4. Which normally it'll the night starts at twenty three and the day starts at six, but um, I think I've fiddled with the settings a bit on accident. The, okay, see that little marker? I put a waypoint on the hospital. Thank God for that. I forgot I had it. It's just um, the marker system in this game is pretty good. Except for the quick markers, which you can't remove, and it's this little red tack on the radar, which pisses me off, because it's visually disturbing. Oh my god, come on. I'm being chased by the undead, I don't have time. Thank you. I wish I could take these lights, that's the only thing I don't have is a light source besides the campfire. Oh, hello. What the fuck's the stairs? Thank you. Let's get a move on. I'd hate to stick around for the zombies. Yeah, I think by now, by now it's like sensed. Now here's where things get interesting. I built scrap frames. Fuck me in the butthole. What I meant to build was wood frames. God damn it. Wasting precious materials. I think that'll do it. I don't know. There we go. Let's get a door going right here. I think I'll oop oop come back. Come back to me. Yeah, damn it. I've been using my scrap metal. Okay, can't use any more of these, so for now, this is my line of defense. There we go. I'm gonna run out of wood. Is, is this wood? Yeah, this is wood. So I could take a little bit of this behind here are medical cabinets and I think that's where I'll have it I'll be able to take from it if if they respawn the loot which I think is like 
every five days the loot respawns, so... And then I looted it day one, I think. I hope I looted it. No, day two. So, day seven-ish, maybe. I just realized that was the seventh day, so I get a horde on the day the loot respawns. Nice. Ooh, damn it. Oh well. That's good enough for now. Um, I don't want to overheat out there, so I'm going to put everything inside. Ooh, I have a good idea. Here's what I'll do. First off, let's put let's put one beaker in there. You could put them all, and I guess I would save space, but I could do this. Acts like a storage chest, so that's good. I'll break this, and you'll see why in a second. You see that ledge? I can use that as an escape route. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's wood. I can't tell what the fuck is what in this game. See, there's stone ones. It makes no sense to me that there's some stone and some wood. Oh god, it's 3,000. 3,000 freaking hell. What the hell? They got dark really freaking fast. Okay, so the 3,000 one didn't go, didn't take as long as I thought it would, but just in case, I just drank some grain alcohol, and that just gave me a nice buzz, apparently. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Alright, so now I have a little escape route out here onto this roof. which doesn't really lead anywhere, but at least I'll be able to bait the zombies in circles while I kill them. And that's only if they get past the, the makeshift barricade that I have. It'll get better as as the time goes on, but... What does this do? Boiled egg. I think I'll speed this up so that the night isn't so boring. I'm on patrol. I'm on patrol at night. Patrolling, patrolling. Oh shit, I almost fell. Oh, what is this? Ooh. Oh, god damn it. What do you mean I'm hungry? Oh shit, I'm eating. And I'm thirsty too. Isn't that a big old surprise? Oh, god damn it, this door was like wide open over here. Son of a bitch. No one told me the door was wide open. Rolling, 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 rolling. Chopping wood, chopping wood. Got my axe and I'm chopping wood. Stupid ass. I hope the roof doesn't fall on me. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Dude, if the roof collapses, I'm so pissed. <laughs> Bam, bitch. Okay, now that's, that's stone. I need wood from another pillar. 20 wood ought to do it. Wood, 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 wood. Wood, wood, wood. Oh god. My axe. God damn it. I'm gonna use all my wood now, son of a bitch. No. Oh, now it's a lower level. Nice. The journey for wood. Wood. I need wood. Wood, 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 wood. Give me wood. Thank you. 
Go down. In here. And boom. He'll be safe now from the undead. Yeah, a bit of good news and bad news. Good news is I managed to find a hunting knife. And, um, where is it? Is that it? A uh, hunting knife and crafting some torches. Bad news is there's a zombie at my door that I think broke it. He broke the metal. What a douche. Where, where is he? Where the hell did he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, there you are. Oh, lag. Gotcha. I guess that's the thing they turn into when they when they're searched, but um I also crafted some ladders and a chest, so give me give me a second. And voila. I give you the ladder to the roof. I had to put spikes all around it just in case they follow me up the ladder or at least to the ladder you know they get their asses kicked and everything let's get back in here I need wood how this counts as wood I have no idea uh, I got some water by the way My, uh, I got it while I was down there no oh, chest out there I need 10 of it. 10 wood. You know how hard it is to get wood? At, at a hospital? It's very difficult. And my axe is already almost broken. Okay, let's not go breaking it. I can live with the frame, because I can't really see down. And they can't really hit the frame, so... I mean, I guess it's like a plus for me. I mean, I guess by some off chance, they could probably hit it, but they can't climb up a damn wall. Maybe at night. But I, don't, I don't see how they would do it. Alright, so, right, so I got a chest. A secure wooden chest, which I'll put there. Keep it locked. And now I can put this. Actually, actually no, the schematic I'll use. I'll use one and put away the other one. I'll use one of these put the rest away. I don't need the land claim block. I don't even know what it does, but it's for multiplayer or something like that. I'll put my hardcore meds up there. I'll keep my I'll keep one med kit. Splints I'll put in there. Blood packs I'll put in there. Um, glue, weapon parts. Uh, put those up there too, along with the plant fibers. The gun's broken, so I'll leave it there. And everything else will just stash right there. I'll leave the bullets there just in case I find a gun for it. Oh, shoot. Um, put those. So yeah, I think I'm hitting about about the end of this, the first part. Yeah, I think I am because I had a timer going; it stopped for some reason. The next one, I think, I think in the next one we'll pick up on a. I'll be a little further progressed because I want to get a little further ahead so you don't have to watch some mindless scavenging and stuff because it's really boring but so I'll be a little bit ahead and expect it 
after this one's uploaded. Expect it to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I know I've said before that I'll do a schedule, but this time I'm gonna keep to it, unless there's a, unless there's some kind of like really important reason. But if there's nothing important, I will do it, get through it, no matter what I have already planned. I'll make time for it. So expect that. And um, yeah, catch you later. Squish, 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 squish. Ow, ow, ow. Squish, squish, squish. Just unlocked me some pajamas. I'm the battle, fucker. Where'd you, where'd you, where'd you go? <laughs> where'd you go?